You need to know about this in order to protect yourself financially and physically. A car owner was sued after a mechanic was killed during his oil change. Yes, you heard right. Unfortunately, a man was killed, lifetime mechanic, during the oil change. They are suing the car owner, which I know sounds a little ridiculous because the car owner wasn't behind the wheel. However, in many states, unfortunately, you must consider that once you give permission to use your vehicle, now this liability can possibly fall on you. And I'll even show you guys what happened and how it all turned out. They had almost completely finished with changing the man's oil. As a matter of fact, there was a young man that was just going to check for leaks. He's 19 years old, so he was lowering the vehicle down. And once he got the vehicle lowered down, it was a standard vehicle. That's right, manual transmission. While this was taking place, there was an older, more experienced mechanic, and you can see he was actually wedged in between uh, tool cabinets and the vehicle. The next move he made was he reached in the vehicle, comes over to push the start button, and nothing happened. So, him not knowing, or he says he didn't know anything about using a manual transmission, so he reaches over and pushes the clutch pedal. Then he goes to hit the start button again, give it another try, which he does. Starts the vehicle up. Unfortunately, you can see here, he has the vehicle in first gear. Obviously not his vehicle, but this was the case in that same scenario. He removes his foot from the clutch pedal. As I said, he's outside the vehicle. He says he was trying to make sure there was no leaks around the oil filter. Once you do take that foot off the clutch pedal, as he did, the vehicle leaches forward and unfortunately results in a man's death. They had taken him to the hospital. And since the liability does fall back on the owner in this situation, in many states, you need to check with your local laws and so forth. Also, this man had been a mechanic for basically his whole life. That's right. So you always need to be aware. Obviously, I'm not saying it's his fault at all, but it just goes to show anything could happen at any moment. Um, the 19 year old did not face any kind of uh, criminal charges. I did see what appeared to be later updates, which happened to be saying that, yes, initially they were suing. Um, the family did uh, have several kids and a wife, so he received around $100,000 in compensation, or should I say his family did. And these people, like I said, um, were trying to sue. The lawyer said he really didn't even want to do it. However, uh, something had to be done for the family. So the next step was you can't really sue the boss even though, guess what? The boss approved for this man to work and he didn't have a license. Okay, there's one big problem. The man uh, didn't know how to drive a manual transmission. He had been working there for about two months. So yeah, that's a pretty big red flag. There were no drugs or anything of that nature found in his system. However, there was something done to be able to try to help his family out later on. Um, thank goodness the judge in this case decided to give the car owner indemnity. And by giving the car owner indemnity, then it took the blame off of him. And with another trial, they sued the car dealership for a undisclosed amount. So hopefully the family was able to do something in order to help them survive these really, really tough times. And as I said, I'm not trying to take anything away from them, but also this other man, or should I say the car owner, um, he should not be held liable. These are extreme situations. Always remember if someone's driving your vehicle, a valet, a uh, friend, um, so there can be a lot more implications. Now, yes, he wasn't charged um, with anything criminally, um, whether it be the car owner, he wasn't charged criminally, and the other gentleman uh, wasn't charged criminally that did all this. They couldn't remember um, who had put the vehicle up first on those ramps to raise it up in the air, 
like I said, it was in first gear, although even they said, experts say, you know, to put the vehicle in gear so it doesn't roll away. But obviously you need to take proper precautions when taking it off. Now, I will say, obviously I can't give you any type of legal advice. And if you'd like to find out more about the story and a lot of these details get knocked around. So if I'm possibly off a little bit on something, hey, drop down in the comments, let us know, or if anything's changed. So don't take my word for it. Go check it out yourself. I was just trying to give you guys a good idea of what was going on. So that being said, please guys, take every precaution you can to be safe. Guys, I always wanna thank you for your kindness. Thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.